Hi there, thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm going to make a start on my vegetable plot and the first thing I'm going to do is put some potatoes in. I've got two varieties, Charlotte potatoes, which are salad potatoes, so these will crop earliest, and Desiree um, potatoes, which are main crop, which I'll have later on in the year. These are two of my favourite um, potatoes. I love potatoes. So what have I done? I've put them in egg boxes and I've done what's known as chitting them, which is basically exposing them to some sunlight, dry sunlight, frost free. And as you can see, at the tip of the tuber, this is called a tuber, this potato, on the tip of the tuber we've got a little bit of a root forming. So I'm going to put them in, put them in some potato bags and show you how I look after them. For some years now I've been using bags for my potatoes rather than putting them in the ground and there are really two reasons why I do this. The first one is because it frees up space in the raised beds and then the potatoes can just look like growing their own space so basically you can put these bags anywhere and the second is, is when it comes to actually cropping them all I have to do is tip the bag out and just get the potatoes out. If I put them in the ground, quite often what I find is I lose, leave one or two behind and then the following year I get a plug come up somewhere where I don't necessarily want it. So, let's, I'm just going to pop these in. So as you can see, they have only a little bit of soil down at the bottom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, these potatoes in and cover them and then I'm going to come back and each time I see some growth breaking through the soil, I'll just top up that soil until it comes up to about about this level and then of course you know the plant will will grow will grow on normally I think five that will do I put five five in there and then just obviously water that in and this is really an ideal day today to be doing this because potatoes grow best when you put them into warm soil and the weather's absolutely beautiful today and, and the soil is is nice nice and warm so along this side I'm going to put my charlotte potatoes and along the other side I'm going to put my Desiree potatoes. Another space saving idea is you can just get these gutters that you buy from the DIY store, pop some compost in and then use them as sort of like a little seed tray outside um, for growing lettuce. Now I've tried this a few times and I've not had a lot of success with it so we'll see how this one this one goes this year but I thought I'd give it another another go. The other things I've got going on is that um, I, I forced this rhubarb. What I've done is I've just simply put this this clay pot over the top of the rhubarb and as you can see it's growing really nicely. Now normally I think you're supposed to do this you know around in the winter time but I only did this a week and a half ago and as you can see it's growing really really well. I think I'm just going to leave it open now and see see what it does. I'm really lucky because um, last year I had strawberries in these pots and as you can see I haven't done anything about them yet and what they've done is they've kind of sort of like spread themselves out and planted themselves in in the ground so I've got all of these little baby strawberries which are you know hundreds of free plants so all I've done is I've taken these strawberries out of the ground and some some of them actually are growing in the gravel itself and I put some compost into this hanging basket and just put a couple of these strawberries in. In fact, what have I done? One, two, three, four, five, five strawberries. And that's going to work really well as a hanging basket this year. So I'll probably do about four, four or five of these and hang them out, hang them out. And um, that's some more free plants for me. I want to get ahead with my basil this year. And so what I've done is I've just bought one of these plants that you get from a supermarket, you know, something that you put on your windowsill in the kitchen. And funny enough, inside, it's not one plant, but there's loads of plants in here, as you can see, you know, just breaking, breaking those off. So I'm just going to pop these into a pot. And the thing about basil is, I saw a guy at Chelsea Flower Show once, and he told me the secret to growing basil successfully is that you make sure that you water it during the day. Never, ever, ever water basil at night because it doesn't like it at all. Thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate your subscribes, appreciate the comments and the likes. So please do uh, comment. Please let me know what you'd be interested in finding out about. And I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to companion planting.